Play this shit and it's a red cause, huh? She VIP, she out here fucking with the stars, huh? Some other nigga got her, now he bout to spoil her You could've spoiled her, and yeah, got you starved her, yeah,欢迎所有的球迷以及所有朋友来到我们凤山体育馆而我们本周呢我们的守卫得分的球员是谁我们等会在两点二十分由于灾逢国庆年假Cause now it's later, she ain't answering your calls, huh? She VIP, she out here fucking with the stars, huh? Some other nigga got her, now he bout to spoil her You could've spoiled her, hey, but you starved her, yeah, yeah
We've been rocking with each other for so long, yeah. 好，我们请双方两队球员可以先回到休息区，先回到休息区稍作休息。可以请两队球员先回到休息区稍作休息。我们请双方的工作人员呢帮忙配合一下，回到休息区稍作休息。我们今天呢的热身赛赛事呢即将就要开始了，请双方球员先回到休息区稍作休息，谢谢。I hate a fuck nigga. Used to be a fuck nigga. Couldn't even blame her if she did fuck niggas. You run your bitch through the mud. You deserve that. So you can feel it for yourself. Where it hurt at? What goes around comes around. I know you heard that. While you was creeping, tell me did it not occur that this nigga sliding in the DMs every AM, every PM used to be like automatic. She would curve that. That was before when you was loyal. Now it's thirst traps on a profile and niggas know how to spot a chink in your armor. You've been tripping, dog. You ain't been keeping your promise. You've been pipping. OK OK， 好久不见，龙潭 OC， 我们回来啦！现场所有远道而来，从全台湾各地来到凤山体育馆，来欣赏我们二零二二二三国家世界联盟少赛热身赛，全朋友，大家玩，大家好。欢迎大家来到凤山体育馆来欣赏这三天热身赛精彩赛事。这三天呢，总共有六场的精彩赛事要呈现给大家。我们不管呢，各位是支持哪一队的球迷，都希望大家在这几天都可以用力的为你的球队以及喜爱的球员为他们加油打气。是否先让我听到我们现场球迷你们热情的加油声以及尖叫声？非常好，那我们呢也今天非常感谢我们的赞助单位，我们的探索马里集团呢，在今天只要组队的球员投进一颗三分球，我们就会送出十组的优惠券以及折价券。而今天下一场赛事呢，是由台新梦想家对上新竹接口工程师，这一场的组队呢，就是我们新竹接口工程师。只要新组接口工程师，只要投进一颗三分球，就送出十组送给大家，两颗就是二十组，总共一百组送给大家。是否请现场的球迷先给探索马里集团一个热情的掌声？好的，话不多说，今天精彩赛事即将就要正式开始，我们请现场球迷呢，等会用力的为我们台新梦想家以及新组接口工程师为他们加油。OK， 稍散热身赛 ，Let's go！ 二零一二二二三八四四号赛联盟热身赛，本场赛事将由台新梦想家出战新竹接口工程师篮球队。首先为大家介绍身穿盛世球衣的台新梦想家篮球队。背号三号吴家俊，七号林耀宗，八号王振元，十四号吴永胜，十五号 Ponyter， 三十号吴松伟，三十四号 Gio b a k e 八十八号周伯成，接下来是梦想家先发五人 starting five， 十一号林俊吉，十三号 Miller， 
，二十三号钱可妮，二十六号李德威，二十八号卢冠良，总教练朱立尔斯，助理教练赖柏林，刘文和苍马斯。球员发展总监田磊领队韩俊凯。新竹工程师球迷在哪里？接下来大家到身穿浅色球衣、新竹街头工程师篮球队。Hey yo, it's District 78. 背号五号宋宇轩。七号曾博玉。九号田浩。十一号肖顺义。二十一号伊布卡，二十三号吕奇明，二十四号郭少杰，三十五号辛巴，现在是新足球工程师先发五人 starting five， 背后四号高国豪。八号小烈朱云涛，十二号李佳瑞，十三号 Number t h i A B Benny， 三十一号阿提诺。教练林冠伦，助理教练沈希汉、泽泽宇、Sean， 总经理吴龙志，领队陈美玲，请双方球员互相握手致意，也期待双方等会给我们带来非常精彩的比赛。现在可以请双方球员进行赛前暖身，也为大家介绍本场的比赛执法裁判赖建中、梅明胜、黄小涵。好，这是呢我们联盟本季唯一一场的热身赛赛事，在我们高雄凤山体育馆所举办。我们非常感谢我们总共六队的球迷呢，从全台湾各地齐聚一堂。这边呢，是否可以让我先听听看我们各队球迷的欢呼声以及加油声？首先，让我看看我们台新梦想家球迷在哪里。OK， 有什么加油牌的就全部举起来，好不好？好，输人不输阵。我们今天组队呢，也就是我们新竹接口工程师，新竹接口工程师球迷在哪里？好，那希望等会的比赛开始之后，两队的球迷要不留余力，把你的球队还有其球员来为他们加油打气。我们等会比赛就要正式开始了，谢谢。
好，这边呢，跟所有球星以及球迷朋友来跟大家报告一下，非常感谢一期直播呢，这一次是全程来转播我们这三天的精彩赛事。而我们一期直播呢，在我们的黄南处也有设摊，请你可以到我们一期直播的互动。Hello, ladies and gentlemen, seniors and youth. Welcome to the South Side, the only preseason stop in the third season of our Plus League history. Here at the home of the Gaucham Steelers, they're the host, very gracious of taking us all in. The first game on deck for you fans is the Formosa Taishi Dreamers against the Shinju Jeko Lioneers. I'm Ryan Chen on the English broadcast. As always, thanks for joining us. We gotta preview the rest of the docket we have. We gotta cram in a lot of basketball this weekend. This game will take place at 2:30 local time on a Saturday. This is a long weekend for the Double Ten holiday. In the evening time, it will be the Taipei Fubon Braves against the home Steelers of Kaohsiung. On the Mandarin side of the broadcast is Xiao Hu, Hu Jinxi, there on the left, and on the right is Tai Qingji, Tai Pao. Chen Yu Feng Yuan, thank you. You can see Plus League's the Le Sen Sai Zhongwen Transport. Of course, there are Xiao Hu and Tai Qingji. Of course, you can turn to the English Sun, but English Sun, thank you for your attention. We're all trying to get back in rhythm a little bit. There's been a lot of things that's been happening over the off season, so let me kind of run down some of the news bulletins. Well, for one thing, it's actually been a much shorter off season from the last game of the finals between the Braves and Lioneers to today. It's only been 103 days off the calendar, whereas last off season from the game that completed, but. Didn't finish the finals between the Dreamers and the Braves, and then the first preseason game, I believe it was between the Lioneers and the Kings, November 6th. That was 175 days, so everybody's got to put in a lot of work to get ready. And in fact, we have a very new and updated schedule with some interesting changes. We'll talk about that in the broadcast, but. Tai Ball helped organize some of the inner uh, transactions, I should say, for the Dreamers. On the left is Lu Guan Lam, Ryan, Zhou Bo Chen, uh, Jerry from the uh, Yilong Dragons, and then the trade brought in Hayden, Wu Jiajing, and Manuel Lin Yaozong from the Pilots. They said goodbye to Calvin Chen Li Huan in that trade, and sent Sun Ziyang over to the SBL. And on the import side, they've re-signed Brandon Gilbeck, the leader of block shots in the second season. He'll be joined by Sir Dominic Pointer and Malcolm Miller as the imports. Now, special rules for the preseason, as there's only two games for each team. Every team can register and put on their active roster three imports, but like the regular season, it'll be two for the first three quarters and only one for the fourth quarter and overtime, giving teams more opportunities to test out their imports and see how they mesh with their local teammates. Now during the regular season, only two imports are allowed to be active at any time in the game. So Miller, 29 years old, stands at 201 centimeters tall, and according to my calculations, that's about 6'7", almost 6'7 and a half. Meanwhile, third dominant pointer, 195, that's about 6 foot 6. We'll see what kind of different dynamics they bring to the team, as the Dreamers did rotate through a number of their imports. Last season, kind of trying to try fits out, including for just 
a very brief period of time, Steph Hicks from the first season, who was kind of last man standing toward the end of that first season in the finals of that playoff run. Interesting enough, there's been plenty of talk in Taiwan about how to go about the national team and naturalizing players, foreign players, into your ranks. Brandon Gilbeck might be someone we talk about more on the broadcast. Meanwhile, on the line your side, they said goodbye to Elliot Han, Tenjian, to retirement. Wu Dai Hao left in free agency to a different league here in Taiwan. And Rolling Sun was removed from the registered player roster, but he will remain with the team as a practice player, you could say. Hopefully he's doing all right battling the cancer that the Lioness shared with everyone. Well, the new additions include Xiang Wang Chen and Mickey. Excuse me, still working that out. Two guards. Interesting enough, Mickey was the collegiate level MVP of what we call year 101 in the ROC calendar, but you just got to add 11. So that's about 2012. Funny enough, the player who won the MVP after him is teammate number 11, Xiao Sun Yi. Will Artino is a familiar face to basketball fans here in Taiwan. He's been the naturalized player for Team Ch Chinese Taipei for the last two years and has put in plenty of time for the national team. He's already got half a dozen international competitions under his belt and it, over the summertime, well really closing in on the fall, played in the on the interleague Chinese Taipei uh, developmental team. But in fact, he was a dreamer back in 2018. The two other imports, Sim Buller, last year's import of the year, joined by good friend Anthony Bennett, a former Steeler. Now, I had to look it up. I had to double check with the, the two gentlemen, but Anthony Bennett and Sim Buller might have brushed shoulders in the G League with the 905 Raptors. I'm going to break open a lot more other storylines, but. We'll bring you the starting lineup first. On the Dreamer side, from top to bottom, is number 11, Aji Lijuji, then Ryan Lu Guanyang, Kenny Chen, Derek Lee Doe, and Malcolm Miller. For the Lioneers, it'll be Oscar Gogwahal, Zhu Hao, first overall pick last season, Lanky Ford, Lee Jiao Rei, Anthony Bennett, and William Artino. A simple are starting things off from the bench. Uh, we'll are sure to see his impact and production during the regular season. The referees blow the whistle, and the tip is up. Controlled by the Dreamers. So, each team's got their two games to try to make their adjustments in an early block shot. Oscar against Achi, two of the players that got the biggest cheers today, Artino. Can make the first time, and there's a whistle on the second attempt. Looks like we'll have free throws coming up. A quick huddle on the Dreamer side. A little note about Anthony Bennett. He was number 20 with the Steelers, and with the Lioneers, he switched to number 13. So I got to kind of get caught up on all the number changes as well. Artino. He would prefer the left block, tries the left hook, and makes it. There's the first score of the game. Now Artino can shoot the three a little bit, and Bennett plays well when he flexes between outside and inside. So we'll see how that dynamic works, because they are rather strong players. Nice shot at the hoop as Julian Hall will try to back down Kenny. Double pass and right back. Oscar trying to find room. Over to Evan. His top shot is short. Now the Lion Ears did participate in that interleague competition. Had some close losses and a number of pretty large margin victories. 
They didn't make it to the final four, though, as there's an errant pass. Oscar gets in front of that one, but slows up for his teammates. AB will walk through, lay it in with the foul. So plenty of fanfare here in the stands. Here we see the trap defense work in the Lioneer's favor. So heading to the free throw line, Bennett. Makes it a three-point play. Last year, Bennett paired very well with Taylor Braun while they were on the Steelers. That high pick and roll was the most effective play really in the last third of the season. To the tune of 25 points per game by Bennett and Braun with almost 10 assists per game. Footwork, late pass, and Artino gets it on the second tip. Right now, the Lioneers starting off strong with a 7-0 run. Slicing, dicing, there's a whistle first. Let's see what's going on with that. The three officials for the game. By Jin Zong is the crew chief, joined by, they call him Nates around here. And then the first female referee of the league, Chao Han. Floater made by Kenny. He racked up a lot of awards in the award season, you could say. I don't know if the players get to have award season off, but Kenny, most improved player and member of the Best at all plus league defensive team. Arquino left-handed three-point stroke is off. Gilbeck sets the screen and able to get the whistle. Much better hands and he's patient with the screen. Sometimes last season he might get in trouble when he move around a little too much. One set a solid screen, or he might make an extra move. He called for the offensive foul or not help his teammate really get free. Makes the first free throw. Gilbeck definitely took some time. He was actually one of the first imports to make it to Taiwan and join the team practices and he played in the preseason stop here in Gaosho. Made his debut, I've certainly led the league in fouls for 36 and he had to make that adjustment. He did toward the end. Little import to import pick and roll as Artino takes the tricky step back and rattles it home. but Gilbeck passes it out and made shot. That's Miller in the corner. Bennett with the uh, off-timing push shot. Kind of looked like something I would do on the softball mound. I guess you could do it on the baseball mound too with a quick pitch. Already one for one. Miller misses the second. Base of the game is picked up. After those initial whistles. Now back door and Evan is trapped by three. He spins out of it. Evan trying to have a improved third season. A very up and down second. Gilbert brings it up and gives it up. And a little extra. What they call it. Leaving Ruquan down open. He misses the three and Gilbert cleans the goal ass up. And another chance to earn one at the free throw line. He's doing a good job playing his role. Well, might have been something in doing how I might disagree with it extra. Achi will take a seat and in his place, one of the newer members of the pilots, Hayden, 
Wu Jiaqing, part of the first ever multiplayer trade in league history. Jian Nanimal came over for Calvin and a first round pick. Tomorrow we'll get to see the pilots as a uh, turnover. Brandon Gilbeck applied the pressure and uh, Athena trying to talk his way back to a possession. I'll defend first. But anyways, this is a little preview as Brian slices the way through to the hoop for two. Yu Guanyang and Tobor to got a foul call in transition. Those two gentlemen, the free agency signings by the Dreamers, both from the Grilong, what do you call them, Dinos? Grilong Dinos, Luxgen Dinos. Our first a timeout in the game. We get to check out some of the highlights. The Dreamers now lead things 12 to nine. We'll go to a break. Thanks for watching. We'll be back after this. Oh,非常感谢一期直播冠名赞助我们粉丝的热身赛赛事。好，现在呢，我请看大荧幕，我们一期直播如果拍到你的话呢，一只手比一，一只手比七，你就可以到我们的一期直播摊位来换取我们
I to apologize for some of the slow updates to the website. As Ryan knocks down the three. A lot of bounds, but Lioners will try to advance it. Dreamers are applying some pressure now. They'll have a couple subs coming in. No look at AB. Having a little fun at his former home stadium. Substitutions for the Lioners. Guo Sao Jie will be playing with a face mask, number 24, along with Tian Hao. And number 23, Mickey. Right to the basket as Zim Bular. Fouled underneath. Former opponent in the SPL, Kobo Shing, number 88. Coach Julius taking out taking out Ryan for Miller. Made free throw. Do you think the strategy is to foul symbol are early and often? He did shoot 58% on the regular season. There were plenty of ups and downs too. Some games where something was bothering Sim and he would miss the mark by a lot. And some other games I saw him hit 11 of 12. We were trying to probe for some space. Pointer trying to take care of this late possession. Puts it up, no good. Took it down the other way. Nice area, but leaving Nicky open who blows it at the rim. again and short. It's the first time we have a Sir Dominique in the league. Good rim run and a little bit extra hand fighting on the pass. That's legal. Split everybody up. Dreamers are quickly accumulating some fouls as we see. Maybe the maybe Mickey was so impressed by the uh, aerial display. A little uh, playing through the whistle there. Another stoppage in play. The teams make their adjustment. They do weak. They do weak. They do weak. So Jerry, go over here. Coach Greg, the coach of the year of the second season, leading his Lioneers to the number one seed. On screen is the local player scoring per game. The Kings lead the pack at 71.4. And the Lioneers were last at 49.3. Of course, they can help Big Sim out by knocking down the shots from the perimeter. The Lioneers did take four of their guys over to Portland, Oregon for some off-season work. That included Evan Lee, Jare, Tian Hao, Julian Hao, and Ling Yi, who's not registered in the game. He's a healthy scratch. Teams can register three import players. The roster is still 13 overall. Do a little secret. It is a little logistically tricky for some of the stadiums who only have 12 slots. Then we'll go to the line again.
17 to 13. And the Dreamers go with their weave. On the switch, Jeff, his three is good. Jeff Wu, almost exclusively a mid-range shooter. Struggle when he had his chance from the outside. Dreamers come away with it, but retreated all the way back. Numbers advantage as there's a missed three from the outside. Artino slow to get back, and he picks up the rebound for himself. Looking to the basket, Sim, deep position, gets the two easy. Middle this time, and it's an A3. The Dreamers, as a team, hit on 31% of their threes. This loader by Tian Hall, and here come the Dreamers. Jeff, weaving in and out, try to get to the basket. There's a foul on the shot attempt. The highest mark in the league. With the Braves in the end at 32.05. Just ahead of the Kings at 31.97. If we're going to stretch out those decimal places. So the Dreamers have that rotation. Jeff Wu, Hayden, Aji. Almost a lot of guards that they can rotate. Pioneers quick down the floor. Foul first as Hayden was trying to suffocate Hall space. He'll get subbed out for Aji. Hall. Known as a darty point guard. Played much better during the final stretch of the season and did it to the playoffs. It's the guy the Lioners couldn't go without. Of course, famously had the new three in the Lioners' team debut in the regular season. Of course, preceding the uh, confetti event. Quite a sight. Missed on the second, and now the Lioneers, if they can get it to send down low, they can score with a good efficiency. Right now, find themselves done by eight. If we have a foul. Sim not going with verticality, just trying to go with a strip, perhaps? throws for the Dreamers. A tidbit about this matchup is this is the third straight year that the two teams have met in the preseason. Uh, not that every team will match up. First year, four teams played a combined 12 games amongst each other. Then the second season, six teams played 11. Salsoni will inbound it from the baseline. His first hit on the floor. And in the third season, six teams will just play six games. Now with the fancy spin move. Kicks it out. Chelsea with a jump shot. Yes. That's a different form than he used from before. That's when he had to play a big role in the interleague game. Pioneers got to debut, they call Shao Hei. Zimbori or Andy Boca, who they drafted, deflected out of bounds. Nikki almost had a chance to go the other way. See the nice misdirection and the final delivery. Turnaround shot. First 
still in the first quarter. Two and a half minutes to go. Breakaway chance. Zeroes and the gentle slam by Malcolm Miller. Dreamers imports getting their share of scoring. Zim depositioning, getting the foul, missing the bank shot. We'll get, try to get it from the line. Receive the transition play. Missed first by Sim. Second make as Coach Julius will have Derek lead the way. Man the middle. Bobo said, accumulated a lot of fouls. Little double high post. Baseline J is good. High pointer. Pointer out of St. John. Really out of Holy Cross. Maji, his favorite left side, but three is short. Ball goes out of bounds out of the corner. The Lioneers. Sim, Nikki, Tianhao, Guo Saojie, and Xiao Sun Yi. Dreamers continue to show pressure, but looks like their referees might take another look at it. In fact, it's the Dreamers with their challenge. Coach Julius in his third season, really third and a half if you count the ABL season that was canceled. The newcomer Mickey regiming, he had actually two stints with the Taiwan beer team. Sandwich with a poor instant in the middle there. Alan Beer actually has two operations, one in the SBL and one in the T1 League. And the referees get the gesture. It's going to stay with the Dreamers. Funny that the referee right in front of me put the hand ball in one hand, but gestured for the player to go to the other side, the same side. You know, on the dreamer side, fans might be wondering where Yang Sun Yin is on the player register. He actually has military service as is number two for the Kings Li Sushi. Not around, but there. Uh, knocked into by Tian Hall. Uh, take care of the old center. Also a former member of the Yulong Dinos. The 10 year stint. Either way, a lot less minutes. The second season than the first after leading the league. Of course, you can almost rightfully expect him to need a little bit more time to recover after trying to body. Likes of Ears Isef. And for the line here, Hashim to be All season long. For the pilots, could be Quincy Davis. Two other centers they have. That first season, they also had Kadeem Jack. One of the consider bigs. Tian Hao waves off the help and he'll bring it across the timeline. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. It's been a long one. Doing a really good job forcing different timing. Might have got hit on that one as Sim cleans it up. 
that the preseason margin matters that much, but it's down to a 10-point lead for the Dreamers. To Jeff in the corner, flashes it. It averaged 29% from beyond the arc. It only took 103 attempts. Shell swing already hit the that side once. This on the second attempt. The way bounce to the rebound. And corner. They'll count it. Got hit around the free throw line. Good balance and finishes the play. Looks to be almost just the same height as Nikki. Taking the contact and getting over the very aerially talented Shao Sun Yi, even. <laughs> Substitution as on for the first time is Sun Bo Yu. Sun Bo Yu was drafted in this season's Plus League draft in a kind of a special exemption because, I guess, inclusion you could give him that honor. Transition play for the Lion here is as Gorsuch is able to lay it in with the right hand. Anyway, Sim Boy only played one season with Joe Tai. And in the of bylaws, Play two years, so he would enter the draft. Another stop by the Lion Ears. He's joined by Ipoka, who played in the UBA Championship game with Sushing. They lost to Zinzi University. Ipoka takes a tough step back. High Archer, no good. Derek. Over to Malcolm. This is the close one. A lot of resistance. Iboka pretty much played in a three-big system by Houston University. Is that long-range attempt no good? Maybe the end of the first quarter. We're getting a lot of run in in this one. Dreamers have the lead as we're back with a plus week preseason action. Okay. Okay. 高景言 also made the move from being the general manager of the Shinji Jiko Lioneers to the Kaohsiung Steelers. 
I don't believe any uh, players were involved with in that trade. Although it'd be kind of weird for general managers to trade themselves. Huh? Yeah, I've seen in the rare this instances that coaches could be used as assets. Kenny Chen's back out on the floor. I believe it's his first since going to the bench after starting the game. Oscar, shot fake and dribble, but he'll pass out of it. Nice wow. shot, close to the basket. Dreamers, it's Achi, Derek, Gilbeck, Kenny, and the Jeff. Achi finds a space, but a little careless with the uh, push shot and a careless pass, but Ifoka saves his teammates. Leads it off at the rim as a little bit of contact going. That's so good shit. Time today. in the action. Be back after this. confidence in that three-point stroke. And same year as Achi, but this time Oscar hit the uh, floater easily. Comes to say hi to the broadcast table over here. They may 
made that adjustment too to accommodate more fans down on this level. Put the Mander broadcast table from maybe about five rows back and on a step to in the corner of the baseline here by the visitor's bench. There's a whistle. Lion ears are trying to apply pressure. Maji will go out and Hayden will inbound for the Dreamers. Here we see the collision. There's an interesting sub. It's AB for Iboka. Not exactly a position switch. and bounces it to Gilbeck, who finishes the fancy reverse. You know he had that in his arsenal. The turnover. Gilbeck leading the break. Deflected pass, but Miller able to finish with two. Attack getting bounced out to the perimeter. There's a foul call. You see the reverse over the shoulder by Gilbeck. And on the other side, leading the break. Even in last season, we saw Gilbeck leading the break on the occasion with the dribble. I don't know if he necessarily passed with efficiency. Blair goes down and Hayden left open with a three. Gets it to go. The game, the Lion here is leaving a lot of things open on the perimeter. A lot of bounds will stay with the Lion here. Coach Greg controlling the sidelines, adding more to his coaching staff. As you see, Hayden wasn't super confident in that three stroke to begin the season then. Went on a hot streak in the middle. Zambori hits that shot. Now, the Espiel Joe Tai team kind of based themselves down here in the south. Maybe has a little bit of extra transfer around these parts. Missed shot. Leon Song Yushin gobbles up the rebound. To the basket, but poked away. Hustle by Hayden. Step that amount first. Aussie will try another three, this time overshoots it. Maybe points for the hustle by they call him Joker. But he's also known as Xiao Hei, so we have one of those players with a bunch of names we can refer to. We Hayden looking around and banks home the shot from about 15 feet. He's got seven points to his name. Now, having a little trouble keeping pace with Oscar as he finds Sim who throws Gilbeck out of the way on his attempt to shoot, not like a literal he threw him out of the way, but I guess you can use the basketball as a tool. 
Any line there, legal. Well, maybe Sim would say Bjovec's pushing me under the armpit. Nothing called until he possessed the basketball. Now it's got to keep reminding the fans, Sim Bullard has played a number of years in the SBL, so the officials and maybe you fans already know him pretty well. And the space he occupies, the effect he has on the floor, and the way he likes to score. Ryan with the three, in and out. Miller got his paws on it, but it'll be Sim Bullard with the board. Sim trying the dribble move. Now to the post up. Had that one poked away, and uh, Kenny, one man to beat, gets to the right side and lays it in. The line here just want to try to go with a little bit of pace to help Sim out. Oscar being guarded tightly by Kenny, both of them members of the all defensive team. This shot is Bennett with the long arms, but that one's poked away again. Miller, one man to beat, and Oscar might have had the strip the first time, but called for the foul on the second attempt there. Stops the break. The foul as the line ears. Find themselves in a much bigger hole. Will Artino will come in for Sim. And Pointer will come in for Gilbeck. Miss on the first. We mentioned the Lion Ears had Ryan, Ling Yu Hui, Ling Yi, and Zhang Guangqin. Not registered for the game. But I saw them pregame all working out with their personal skills coach, Sean, who joined the Lion Ears staff last season. So maybe they'll play in tomorrow's game. Excuse me, the day after the game. Offensive foul by Tian Hall. As right now Anthony Bennett trying to talk to the two point guard teammates he has now. We see a little bit of that arm push. That was enough. So 53 to 36. This time the weave starts to go way out high. Martino jumps the passing back. Now here come the Lion Ears with number two. Oh, get to the other side. No, he won't. Pointer with a block shot. Oscar with the three to follow up. No. Will Artino with the spinning two points. Cleaning things up. That was quite exciting. A little outside in, inside out, but short with the shot. For the Dreamers, other non-registered players as Artino had that one blocked. He makes the second one. From the top, Miller hits the three. For the Dreamers, Jay Chen has a swing on his left arm. Not entirely sure what happened there, but don't expect him for the weekend. And Yang uh, has got military service and Doug grabs a veteran's healthy scratch as Tianhao fouls in transition. Be really careful with those. Those are eligible to be called unsportsmanlike if the referee deems the offense have such an advantage that what the NBA might call a clear path foul. Tianhao, at least in front of the basketball until the point of contact. I don't think his arms are that long to have a chance at it, though. The referees will talk it over. They're going over, and looks like they'll indeed 
look at the play again. Being very thorough about it. It is the only chance that the referees will get plus league official action. Of course, the plus league referees are supposed to be invited to maybe inter-team inter scrimmages. That one didn't take Yo very ha. long. And indeed, Kehan will be called for the unsportsmanlike on the transition play. These will not count toward the regular season. Last season, it was six special fouls, we called them, before a player started serving suspensions and fines. With a lengthened season, they expect that number to go up. There's Tony Tenzilo, who was the head coach of the Pilots to begin the season. Now joins the Steelers in the offseason as what is the equivalency of head of basketball operations. Chen will take the two free throws with nobody but the referee in front of him. Healthy number of green in the stands, supporting the Dreamers, and I see a lot of purple shirts too. Missing the first and uh, missing the second. And free throw shooting has not been a highlight of this game. Although it's hard to imagine any game having free throws as the main highlight. Jeff Wu and Aji playing a little hop and between the two of them. And Zuri Hall jumps the dribble. Green has a little bit of trouble there. Animal, green no good. Poked away from behind with Kim Hall and Martino. There was an errant pass, but the referees say he was fouled. He was an errant pass, so I always remember possession consequence is part of the equation. So anyways, the Plus League's third regular season schedule is already up on the website and on social media as we see his right arm getting held and still helps to have the coordination even as big as the pause as Artino has. Oscar close to the distance, then with a tough step back, and Bennett dominating the boards, missing the first half. Fouled on the second attempt. Right now, Anthony Bennett showing off that proactiveness on the offensive board end. After the Dreamers started the game searching for offense, it's the Lioneers who are trying to get better organized in the half court. Make on the second means the Lioneers will bring in Iboka and Evan for AB and Oscar. So it's kind of different. The Dreamers seem like they're substituting by position, typically pretty straight up. Well, the Lioneers bring in very unique personnel groups, just trying to switch things up. Deep shot missed, and Evan did receive the pass, and it was short, intercepted by Sir Dominique Pointer. Just fun to say. Aji, cut through the middle, and uh, we'll give it up. The pull up J is good. It's pointer. We already got 15 as foul first underneath. Considering the graphic we showed pregame as we 
see the Dreamers get some substitutions. Usonwe number 30 all the way is in guarding Evan, and Gilbeck will come in for Manimal. The Lion Ears, perimeter scoring is kind of all up to their local players, because while Artino, Bennett, and even Sim on the rarest occasions are good three-point shooters, they're not exactly quick shooters or catch-and-shoot shooters out there. And Ikoka takes a hard ball, Gilbeck, there in front of him. Jeff to the middle. His day is good. Jeff Wu is showing off the scoring punch. The Boca rifles a pass. Plenty of velocity on that one. Oh, three is no good. Where the uh, Long sleeves are crushed underneath as they fancy make. Five pointer. Well, the Dreamers have gone with dynamic scores before, and we're seeing a new iteration here in the preseason. They find themselves up by 20, and the line here is uh, not looking good in this one, but they have. Plenty of basketball under their belt this preseason. Of course, they played in the aforementioned interleague play as we see the rather unconventional footwork by Jeff. Meanwhile, the Dreamers having a lot of success, especially in transition. They've hit 11 of 17 field goals in the quarter. Graphic on your screen, generously provided by our partners at Formosa Television. This lineup that Greg has out there, Julian Hall and Evan Nijare. And Iboka has absolutely the leg to cover the court. So that defensive coordination has really not kind of been there. A lot of line years over helping. They do have the athletes to protect the basket. The thing about the Dreamers is they had five rookies on the team in 2020 and only drafted, well, drafted two players and only signed one of the two in the last two years. That's number eight, Jason Wang Zeng Yue. Not made an appearance yet in the game. Played with the Rising Star teams, who was the other five teams were representative in the interleague competition. A bit of tricky dribble, and uh, in fact, Maji will force it out of bounds off of Tian Hall. Something that the Dreamers have been successfully doing is applying pressure in the front court. Referees got an adjustment on the clock to make. Here in Fongsan, they use the uh, triangle shape. Clocks above the basket. We call them Xiaobiao here in Taiwan. Beautiful stroke by number 15. Now it's Jeff Wu's turn to apply pressure on Tian Hao, but. This time a turnover, eight seconds to get it up the court. And right now, if you look up, 15 seconds. Remember, and Oscar will come in a little bit more, shall we say, aggressive of a point guard bringing the ball up. Kian Hall does like to take his time. Two straight possessions. The line here don't even get a shot off. Aji. 
get the foul on Temple Temporary's first personal is we get another look. This is kind of close to what I see. What I also noticed was the referee might have been transitioning from one side of the baseline to the other. One thing I've learned in my referee education is that moving referees are not accurate call referees. That's a tricky situation. Brings that second free throw as Hayden will come in. For Aji. This time, Zimbor, he did play point guard with Joe Kai. I see you. Was pretty good at passing the basketball and certainly has his own score and punch. He flashed it in, you'd expect. That turnover, though, between a pass as Hayden leaves it to Gilbert. Martino stands his ground. Just over a minute left. Oscar putting on the move. But then Mori, his deep three ricochets out, but there's a foul for the rebound. Jeff Wood, a shell swing to the end underneath. And there's the push. Got to be careful, though. There's two hands. You might get yourself an unsportsman like. Shell swing. Gets the friendly roll. Season averaged about 12 minutes play, three points, two rebounds. We tried a windmill dunk during the interleague game. That was on the verge of incredible if he would have made it. No spin on that jumper, and it's short as Hayden fouls Oscar from behind on the pass. Pioneers now with the bonus. the line now. Average about 30 minutes played himself. 11.6 points per game. That is the highest among all local scores for the Lioneers in the second season. Looked great on that second free throw. The very first plus league basketball ever was the Dreamers against the Lioners. Oscar, it's a 30 piece. That time, Jeff Ludo with a nice fadeaway, though Hayden took a little shot to the face. He's slow to recover. Martino, Ramon Linky, put back with the left hand. That'll keep an eye on the clock. Last possession of the half. Tough tumble, and Evan looks like he gets a block shot. At the end of the first half, 69 to 48, as we welcome you back into the fray. Plus League Basketball, the season a month away. Doing a little workout here. Chan 
哪四位？哪四位？好，四个，四个，哪四个？好，请往前，哪四位？我们先在这边。好，第二位，第三个是谁？你们好，弟弟要跑在第四位呢。好，来。好，总共四位朋友哦。好，我们呢会听我们的时间计时一分钟，自己投自己减一分钟，三分线外一样是三分，进去只要三分线内都是两分，我们做积分看总共得了几分。OK， 那听音乐听到 Ready Go 的时候再开始哦。好，很明显就是我们工程师的球迷，来，工程师的球迷在哪里？哎、欸，都不见了，中场都不跑走了是不是？这边而已是不是？好，来我们工程师球迷加油一下。对，禁区里面都可以，就是两分，然后三分一样是三分。好，正常的我们的篮球规则 ，OK。好，听音乐哦，来，老师音乐。Ready go。好，两分，好，一分钟，看可以得到几分？目前累计是两分，对，要差反多一点，四分了，六分，八分，十分，十二分。十四分，十六分，十八分，二十，二十二，二十四，二十六，二十六分。哦，每一球都要把握哦。二十八分，三十二，三十二，三十四，三十六，三十八，四十。四十二、四十四、四十六、四十八、五十、八、五十二、十三、五十四、五、五十六。好，这个要算吗？这个要算吗？要算吗？哎，工程师球迷都不在，我们就不算了啊！总共五十六分，五十六分。好，给他一个掌声鼓励一下，五十六分。好，来。下一位，来，请问你是哪里的球迷？梦想家。欸、他想了很久哎。梦想家球迷在哪里？梦想家。Inside f o n g s a n Stadium in Kaohsiung. It's the Plus League preseason. I'm Ryan Chen, your English broadcaster. There we see Xiao Hu and Tai Jingjing on the Mandarin broadcast. If you haven't already, go ahead and head to stores to get your Plus League player card. That's been a lot of fun. Maybe not so much fun, but it is in the preseason, in fact. It's the uh, Formosa Taishin Dreamers with a 69 points in the first half to the Lioneers. Even though they're losing the rebounding by eight. They have assisted more and turned the ball over less. And a two for 12 three-point shooting versus nine of 20. It is a huge margin to overcome. The Lioneers, maybe you can only say that they're rotating much more players in the playoffs. They did shorten their rotation quite a bit, especially in the finals. Maybe rotating so many guys is causing some of those disconnects in transition. But Will Artino showing off the Active footwork on the block and in pick and rolls. Definitely showing up pretty good for the line here. It's another side. The Dreamers. Where it is, they started their training camp a lot later, but at least in a half of basketball, have looked pretty solid on both the offensive and defensive end. Can't go out a game without some Anthony Bennett highlights. And he attacked the room. There's Yang Sengyan joining his team for the celebration. Now both teams have made it to the playoffs in the second season. The Dreamers as the two seed, the Lion here as the one seed. Iboka, a draft pick in the first round by the Lion here. It's actually what kind of word that he would not make it to the team, not sign with the team. They're could be a number of reasons because of that, but now he's here, and as Coach Greg said, instead of being a blank, empty pick that we call air, he could be oxygen for us. Maybe a little bit more 
some observation for us to see how that will progress. Well, it's a long weekend here in Taiwan. We welcome you out to the stadium, but first break of the year. So if you've been paying attention, we have a little mic and drill contest that the Steelers are putting out at the halftime here. The home team will be playing in the 5 p.m. game. As we continue to break down the first preseason game of this season for the Plus League. There's the uh, scoring leader from top to bottom. Miller with 16, Pointer with 11. Jeff Wu leads the locals with 10. Gilbeck there with 9. And Hayden, we got your has a 7 points. Now the Dreamers also have had gone spells where they don't have a lot of import scoring compared to other teams, but in this preseason game, there's three imports getting plenty of opportunities. Miller, especially in transition, and Dominique Pointer breaking down the defense in the half court. But on the line near side, Will Artino, the only player in double digits with 12, followed by Anthony Bennett's nine, Simple R7, Oscars got seven. Mike he is all came in a close to session. Followed by number 11, Xiao Sun Yi. Now 
the first season, the Lion Ears missed out on the playoffs by a one-game margin to the Dreamers and Pilots. And then it jumped out to be the number one team in the regular season in the second year of Coach Greg. Here in the third season, going with really three bigs on the import side, as opposed to having maybe LaDante Henton and Nick Faust, whereas the Dreamers Certainly expect Brandon Gilbeck to be manning the middle, but Malcolm Miller and Sir Dominique Pointer providing some different dynamics on the outside. And right now the locals have also been playing the system well, at least in a half of basketball. They play again tomorrow. Let's see how they do against a different opponent. One last break before we head to the second half. Thanks for watching. Plus League Basketball needs you to like the stream as we're getting ready for the second half. As we mentioned, the Lioneers. As we mentioned, the Lioneers drafted two players out of the draft, and in fact, they were the two top scorers for the team during the interleague games. Have the Ibokas 15 points per game and Simple Warriors 11.7 points per game. We 
might have a chance to see more rising stars as they come around. But no Jace Wandering just yet. One notable absence from the Dreamers player list is Randall Walko, who had the knee injury here in Galshow. Was a strong candidate for a all plus league team. But his absence, we expect pretty much for the entire season. And the graphic guys on the Amanda broadcast suggest maybe Tian Hall, currently Chen Kuni, be picking up some of the slack. And can it also include maybe more on the inside, Manimal, and on the outside, maybe Ryan Wu Guan Liang. Not a problem so far in a preseason game, though. Aji fires one back to Miller. His feet were set, but missing the shot. A little Simbular and William Martino pairing on the court. The line here is weave away from them, though. Martino, kind of on the mid post, will step to the left, and Gilbeck blocks it. They call it a shot clock violation. Already getting his work in early. Brandon Gilbeck, right now looking like another front runner for the uh, blocks title. Screens for Miller. Ooh, loses the dribble and commits the foul. Oscar was running after it. And Oscar rightfully wondering if that should be a uh, unsportsmanlike foul, just the same. Freeze will go to the monitors for a third time, and my recollection is correct. The Lioneers do have their challenge if they choose during the game. Shaohan. Will indeed gesture. It is a unsportsmanlike foul. Miller putting that onto his preseason stat sheet. We see he kind of just loses the dribble. He didn't really need to use that left hand, and that's what got him. The general manager for the Dreamers, Jonathan Han, sitting on the bench with a number of all the assistants and executives. Dunkers from the Dreamers in the last two years includes maybe like Jaron Young or Julian Boyd. And Sim gets it over to beat the eight second violation. And there's Joker, Zimbori at the rim. He's certainly well built and sturdy. And like I mentioned in the first half, very sneaky quick. Go back. Had that one spotted away by Sim. Martino, Gosalji in the corner, over to Sim, but Gilbeck jumps the pass, getting back into play. Get another juicy highlight, this time from wide. Appreciate that. Yeah. 
There's a steal attempt, and uh, Miller, one man to beat, will just miss the layup with the right hand as Gilbeck will run it down. This little Dreamers track meet as the Lioners will get a team rebound there. Got a little too fancy, and Gilbeck Maybe a little bit late with the timing. Kind of hard to say when you have a man so athletic and so long. So now an illegal screen called. Certainly something that uh, was talked about a lot in the playoffs. And here we see what does it is really keep an eye out on the left hip and the left arm. Cleared space, Miller kills the three with the uh, screen assist by Gilbeck. The Dreamers continue to hold their big lead. Kenny fouls on the sideline. Not a lot of subs going on for either team as there Jeff Wu will summon from his seat. Or Kenny Chen. Longest tenured member of the Dreamers. Was teammates with Will Artino back in the day. Of course, both of them, story goes, had a little bit of the uh, work permit issues. Oscar hangs on to it. Kuosal Jia pops free for three. It's no good. Well, that, we're glad that both of those gentlemen are back in uh, playing basketball as Aji cuts to the middle and hits the shot on the stop. Of course, should be a 76, a little bit frozen on our TV side. Short with the pull up. So we have two Ryans in the league now, including the broadcaster Ryan, Miller. Trying to heat check as there's a little bit of a foul to start for our play. The line near side, Tian Hall is coming into the game. Tianhao, left three up top, he hits the three. Tianhao was an aggressive scorer in their interleague play. Only two points a game. As Will Artino gets in front of that one, a little numbers advantage, and has that one blocked at the rim. Say it's clean, but Guo Sao Jie gets the three instead of the two, as now the Dreamers will call timeout. Happening right in front of us. That one might be worth another watch. But May 3, Guo Sao Jie sends us to our first break of the uh, second half. Thank you. 
，镜头拍到你了，不要再讨论这么认真了。对比一跟七，谢谢感谢一七直播，好来光明赞助我们单位。好，小朋友们看到的是爆米香家的球迷，好这个一跟七怎么比嘞？好比的非常好，你手要不要抽筋的？手是快抽筋的。好谢谢。好刚刚镜头有拍到。Over to a little huddle, talk things over. Interesting enough, perhaps the player who's played on both these teams year one to year two is Calvin Tun, and uh, he has now moved on to a third plus league team. Like quite the conversation topic for season two. Good turnaround by Sir Dominique. Sim as Artino launches from three. Missing on the first, but getting the foul on the second. Derek Lido away. Vertical there, and then that hand comes down. First free throw. Sim Bular. Maybe a little bit to our surprise, but keep reminding everyone a preseason game. Eight points. Uh, keep it at eight. Not that the scorekeepers listen to the broadcast. Baking and baking. Now pointer. Fake Artino up in the air. His shot is no good. Sim pushes Derek out of the way and on his way to the hoop gets the foul in the basket. Kind of felt like it was in half speed. We're getting another look at it. Sim led the Lioneers in minutes played at 1,062. Also led them in scoring at 711 points. Jeff Wu's jumper in the corner is in. Yeah, played as good as defense as you can ask from the 170 plus centimeter guard. Has got a little extra stuff going on. Maybe we'll come in for Artino. I don't remember, only one import for the fourth quarter only. Keep on saying is one of the best passers to bigs down low in the plus league. Of course, Hashim to be the lucky recipient of a lot of those, and Sim Bular. Yeah, I'll definitely would like to see that 62% free throw shooting. The 
second season improve as they made three by Miller. Marty with 24 on the afternoon. Classic cross screen by the Lioneers, but Tiana is looking the other way. They definitely love to have Zimbo you attacking on the left side. As we see Miller with the height difference. One simple, you not exactly a direct path on his uh, basketball career. As the uh, rebounders kind of get themselves sorted out. Maybe introducing uh, some new imports to the Taiwan basketball landscape. Free, free throw, and Mickey's in. Down the baseline, and a Miller had that one stripped from underneath him. The basket and Sim didn't play to the hoop. Lioners did show off one of their practices where Rian Sim run end to end, always on offense. At least that's a good incentive to get your ball players to run. Under five minutes, it's now down to a 12 point lead. Jeff, the left corner on the move, no. This time the line here will slow it up. They're looking for AB, still looking, as Pointer will got that one out of bounds first. There we see the pinpoint passing by Tian Hall. Really didn't have any follow through on the pass and great accuracy. Iboka. Jump shot. They say he didn't get it off in time and I could have used a little bit of help from his teammates. As a reminder, he is capable of hitting those very difficult shots. Prove that at the UBA level time after time. Hey, hey. Easy block shot there. But a foul on the follow through. Ken Hall backing into. Who's over there? Ryan. Hayden, a lot further away from the rim than Iboka was. Here we see the importance of being able to close in with either hand, close out with either hand. Want to fly by the shooter's side. As the uh, referees will get the clock back up to the right spot again. Let's 
时间没停。Probably can、uh, act. Really say it's kind of a freezing season for the scorer table too. Another stoppage for us. Minutes and 55 seconds. Wu Guanyang will hit the free throw. Talk about the Dinos team that had a combined championship shared with the Taiwan Beer. Miller gets the easy putback. Li Taiyan, Li Yihui, and Captain Liu, Liu Zhenlu, as some of their main players who made it over to the uh, Plus League last season. Uh, they've had quite a bit of depth going up against some of the best of Taiwan Beer, who dominated the league for several years. But last year, different story as members of the Taiwan Bank. Held the first place thought before COVID canceled their season. Plus, league's fortunate to power through till the end, even though it took several delays in the schedule. Finishing after the NBA Finals definitely not in the plans when they drew up the season. Three and a half minutes to go, and a foul in the front court by the Dreamers. That's his fourth personal foul. Which is quite a bit, because Wu Jiaqing Hayden, per 36 last year with the Pilots, is at 2.5. The highest teammate. After, of course, Sun Zitun and who only played one game. You're looking at Huang Hong Han, who's kind of a point forward. with a comfortable catch and shoot. This we'll see a lot more in the regular season. You can expect a lot more scoring from number 13 of the Dreamers. We'll need to double check on their Dreamers next game. Defense forcing the miss and a unsportsman like called on the floor. Bennett trying to catch the Dreamers in transition. Anchi, the player, he fouled. No monitor trip this time. You see the right hand and the left hand. Changing up his routine a little bit. Still hits the free throw. His eighth point of the game. And hits the second. Dreamer is opening up this difference up again. Head to head matchup. The Dreamers were at least even, if not better, in all five, against all five opponents as Derek shows off the jump hook. You see that a ton in the first two seasons of the Plus League. He loves the spinning fadeaway. Dan Hall with some room, missing the floater. And the 
you'd think would be pretty easy to him. No look pass down. Wow! That was a lot of air. Down, Sir Dominique to Miller. They might disagree, but from what I've seen so far, it looks like they've got plenty of run in today. Solid, yeah, leading this attack. Takes the defense, pulls up from three. Would have been a nice one, but Bennett fighting still. You get a foul and a, another chance for the Lion here. Well, we'll get a substitution to kind of break up that party. GB in. For some m and &M flight. Well, the Dreamers ahead of the Braves, 4-2 in the regular season. Even with the Kings, 5-1 against the Pilots. Even with the Lioneers and 4-2 against the Steelers. We're indeed the only team to have an even or a positive record against all the teams. They and the Lioneers only were even against the Dreamers. Interestingly enough, the Lioneers were excellent on the road. 12 wins in 15 games. As Evans trying to chase around Pointer. Travel called as Gilbeck trying to show off that fancy footwork. And that mark of 80% winning percentage is even better than the best home winning percentage owned by the Dreamers. At 11 and 15, that's only 73%. Shade out and uh, Sir Dominique Pointer finds the basketball again, pulls up from way deep. Yes. Little Marcus Dance on the sideline. A lot of fun interviewing him two years ago. Martino will answer with a three of his own. A minute left, a lot more back and forth action as there's a kind of goofy violation. Martino protecting himself and Kilpep will hang on to the rim. Let's check the rule book. Is that a uh, goaltending? Uh, it looks like they might just call it a shooting foul. Had some of our uh, more tense moments, and that was certainly one of our more lighthearted ones. Here, nope. Anthony Bennett, one man to beat. They missed the layup, and his teammate Evan there for the putback. That's why you follow up your teammates. Put it on the clock. What's up, Jay? With seven seconds and a foul first. No, they call it a travel. As in for the first time is Jason Wang Zhengyuan. Maybe a little later than uh, we'd expect. And the clock is not moving till now. Tough shot and not with a friendly bounce.
That'll be the end of the third quarter, 97 to 76. Dreamers holding serve on the road. to have fans back in the stands for some plus league basketball. This is the preseason in 2022. The Formosa Taishin Dreamers against the Shinzu Jeko Lioneers. Both teams showing off new additions. The Dreamers imports sure have shined and the Lioneers are maybe a little bit trying to wake up from the long bus ride down. Although, maybe they took the HSR. Here's Will Artino. Member of the team Chinese Taipei as the naturalized player. He has a US citizenship and he has his ROC identification card. Oscar will start the offense with a little Spain pick and roll. Started by former teammate Kenny as Evan goes baseline and Aaron Pash also needs the intended target. Kenny throws it right to Zuniarhal who splits it out wide. Tries to get fancy with it and Kenny will take it away. Long alley oop and Lucky bounce will go out of bounds. I didn't really know the Dreamers had that in their arsenal. That alley oop from, well, outside the three point line, maybe not crazy far, but Lee Jare might have something to do with getting in the way of that connection. Martino driving, fouled, and will get the bucket. Pointer there for the help. Doe, the primary defender. Martino, a natural lefty, which the Lioneers are known for. And to nobody's surprise, the only draft pick by the Steelers, Demarcus, found your way. So, lefty. Not surprising in that Kenny Collins mentioned that like lefty. A little whistle there and now on the offense. Here we 
Nasty Achi. They say trying to jump into the way of Oscar, who maybe may be embellished with the head. He got hit in the chest. Another Spain pick and roll coming. As the Pioneers at least get the switch, but Dreamer switched back. Evan three is good. Sometimes he changes that arc, but that one was nice and high. Daniel was a good shooter last season, but missing with that one. Trying to get inside. Dartino kept in shoot off the bat. And he euros his way left. The left hand, no good though. Lacks a little finishing on that side as Ajit jumps in front of Julian Hall. Another really athletic play on the back end. Winners listed at 195 centimeters. Only about six foot four, maybe six foot four and a half. Interesting. They called the foul on him. Okay, it'll be his second. Let's be here by Julian Hall. Okay, go. Oh, see you Oh, Black and Chen. Miller takes the deep three, and everything is going for him. I don't think that was the. Uh, with the Dreamers design, but that's 100 points for them. Nine and a half to go in the game. Patterns is sure slowed down. The line here is going to line up that they probably like a lot. Boy, a little slow with the uh, slide. That makes it 14 fouls for the Dreamers. Done by the Lion Ears in three minutes of the uh, final quarter. Tobleton, maybe you have a few easy minutes, relatively speaking, after matching up with Sim for a lot of that first half. Martino gaps and misses the three. Up the head, and Will Artino. They're going to call it goaltending, but he sure showed off the hops on that play. Nick Stobleton, the newest member of the Dreamers to get on the scoreboard. You get a look from behind the basket. Yep. Stay off the backboard. No more problems with the clock. So there is what we call the Dabiao, which will have the score and the time. Xiaobiao is the time and the shot clock. It's also what we call the score bug. 
on your YouTube or television monitor. Boca's in the game. Shots are also going to take a little hard. Might be later. Good, no way. Number 12 of the Steelers. Went to graduate school last season. They would have been teammates very, very briefly for just a year. Look, we've got the kind of elevator dual play in Tony Hall. The uh, quick, the quick shot. He sure loves it from way out wide on the 45 degree angle, but if you can hit those right around the break, it's really good for him. He did improve as well down the stretch. All from the fourth piece, the line there's final drive. Let it play. By Ivoca and Junior Hall, the rebounder. AB, the important goal. Maybe raise the iron on that deep shot. That shot by Miller overshoots everything. Evan needs the body and gets the reverse layup. Maybe mercifully taking a couple extra seconds off the clock in this one. And the Dreamers call timeout. They want to talk it over. Now, if we see the timeline of things that happened in the offseason, Will Artino and Sim Bular was announced together back on August 5th. Line near social media. Well, that's my cue for a commercial break. Thanks for watching this Plus League broadcast. Stick with us. We'll be back after this. I was saying, after Artun and Bular on August 5th, the Lioneers announced Zhang Guangqin and Liu Qimi on back-to-back days on the 9th and 10th. Whereas the Dreamers started their offseason by announcing re-signing Brandon Gilbeck all the way on July 22nd. Quite a busy day. I see three transactions. Miller up top, but what the dreamers run their offense. Aiden trying to make space against Iboka, shoots the fadeaway. Able to get it on the basket. Hammer action, but Junior Hall completely misses the mark. I guess it, the shot is still a little bit temperamental. In the arsenal of every basketball player in the 2020s, that baseline three. 
Foul first, Junior Hall. A little bit of music foul. Now, last preseason, the Lioneers debuted the green and orange Windy City jerseys, which is a nod to the orange and green in the Shinzu County press. Yeah, finding space, laying it up and in. Traffy Boca behind him. That was the space you need. That's just the smart play of leverage that we on the can't be really good at. So maybe there's a reason why Coach Lewis is always playing a guard alongside of him. Boca's flash shot is short. Interesting, he had Gilbeck in front of him, so you think he'd pull the arc up. The Dreamers didn't have any news until Malcolm Miller on August 30th. AD gets by one and finishes through another Dreamer in transition. So it's a 15 point game. Go back to the right hand is jump hook. Yes. So lanky, be patient with it. Anyways, then the Dreamer. Their dominant pointer on September 8th. The local players, in fact, were signed even earlier, July 8th and 9th. As we mentioned, Wu Guan Xiang and Zhou Bo Chen. And a illegal screen call that go back with making contact with them boy. Some instructions for a fellow Valley Frazier bandit. Pioneers have a high low, but they can't get the ball to either. A little bit too fancy as Junior throws it out of bounds. Played most of this fourth quarter and doesn't have great results on the floor. The Dreamers having some stumbles with two centers on the floor. That doesn't include Lee Doway. So Bennett will go to the free throw line. 13 points for number 13. Something to keep an eye out for the Lioneers' import. Goes out of bounds, but the Dreamers save it. That would have been pretty possible. And it started the season off the mark from the free throw line. Ended up 78, which is average to better than average in the plus league, unfortunately for us. Clear space, takes the three, strong with it. Dreamers will slow it up.
Get another look at Derek from the top and then too much extra stuff going on underneath. Evan certainly has had his frustration fouls in this one. Quite <laughs> down on the uh, reverse pivot three. Look at that nice comfortable arc on his shot. He'll try to answer with a three, bouncing out. He'll take again leading the break. A little two-man game has not opened up for the Dreamers. So Temple Wee jumps the pass. He might say, hey, you're a seven plus foot in for going up against a local. Need more of a threat. Sure, uh, can do it that time without the glass. Here's the jump hook. 14 points for Big B, they sometimes call it. Right now, Junior Hall, clearly in one of those shooting clubs. That's something you need to perpetually be worried about because sometimes form is cyclical, but you've got to be able to adjust back as we see Dumbleby playing the smarts. So I have to be careful with that because we do have a Brandon Smart in the league for those of you watching for the first time. Nice shot from deep and a chance for the Lion here to run. Animals in there guarding the screen. He broke a pop three, but takes very few threes. A little flip and slide over here. Hayden's in for Ach. You get another look at this one. Now the other side, it's Mickey for Julian Hall. He's seen 188, probably would be listed as a forward in the SBL as a nice cut, but Lion Ears bottled that up at the basket. He's listed at guard here in the bus league, deep position for Evoca. Say that dribble pass to Evan. Jumper, no good, and a rebounding foul. No, 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 no. Good, not a, took a shoulder stinger. No good, taken out for Jason. Get some attention on that shoulder. Now we did see a shoulder injury during the interleague play, where a guy got hit in the left shoulder. I'm trying to recall the player, but then he reacted with his right shoulder, and fans were saying, "How could that be?" Well, from my personal experience, sometimes it's not the shoulder that gets hit; it's the opposite shoulder that will. Feel the brunt of the floor. Anyway, there's only one broadcaster right now, so a little hard to keep track of everything. It is deep. He rolls in and out. There's 80 seconds left in this one. One point of game speed. There will be uh, eight matchups in the regular season between every team. We both have tried some three, also just missing the mark. Foul on the outside. 
Last season, it was six matchups per team. Check with the team who it will be this season. The one team we know is the Pilots. We named their captain, the Switching Out. All the way three. Off the market to the left. Maybe one possession left. It'll lead to another. Summerson. Couldn't draw that one. Give the signal. They're going to let the time expire, and that's the end of this one. 115 to 100. Much bigger margin during the uh, process of the game, but understandably, if both teams trying new things out, seeing what their players are capable of, and certainly trying to control the fatigue. The uh, nicks and neck injuries that all these players are dealing with. We'll be breaking the huddle, and when the Braves and Steelers are done with their warm ups, we'll be bringing you the second of two games here at Kaohsiung Fongsan Stadium. It's the Plus League preseason. So stick with us as we will have a player interview. I'm being told uh, Malcolm Miller will be the player who will don the headset. Uh, um, we were just playing at our pace. You know, that was our biggest thing. We're worried about uh, us playing our game and not who our opponent is. So uh, teammates were finding me in the rhythm, we were finding our flow, and we were taking open shots. Uh, everybody was moving the ball around, and uh, we were playing our brand of basketball. Oh, yeah, our team is great. I mean, you see, we play for each other. We're cheering on the bench. We're going crazy. Um, we're friends on and off the court. So that's the type of stuff that uh, leads to wins down the road and leads to playoffs and wins and championships. Thank you very much. Thanks to Malcolm Miller for joining our post-game coverage. Of course, the Mandarin side will do the translation. I don't think I need to do it for you guys. You guys can figure it out. You guys are the smart ones. Well, indeed, 35 points was his final tally. And after maybe choosing imports who more of a steady and sturdy down low. Miller and Sir Dominique Pointer are a very different dynamic kind of imports. We'll go to a break before wrapping things up and leading you to the second game.
before they turn down the lights once more for our second game. Player introductions, we're wrapping things up. We're the Dreamers take the first preseason game. 115 to 100 against the Shizu Jiko Lioneers. Turnovers and turnovers that led to points. It's kind of the biggest highlight from that last matchup between the two teams. Now the line here also need to see that three-point shooting percentage go up and also the three-point defense as well. A lot of that defense is communication and playing to the scheme. Well, if we have the honor of a second broadcast with you guys, it will be the Taipei Fulham Braves, the road team against the home Kaohsiung Steelers here at Fongsan. Well, thanks to Xiao Hu and Tai Jijing. I'm Ryan signing off for this one. We'll see you in the next one.